Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. If you are not a big fan of Epic Games, or let's say you decided to go to a different route instead of using Epic Games itself for the launcher and stuff like that, then say no more. We're pretty much going to be showing you how to uninstall Epic Games in Windows 11. So let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty guys, so pretty much here on Epic Games, there's pretty much a program that could be running in the background. So if it does come up to a point, I actually have it on the bottom. Usually if it's right there, you might be signed into your account. Just be sure you go to the start menu and select on the icons. And on there, you'll see the icon for Epic Games. Right click on it and be sure that you exit and be signed out or if it does prompt or anything like that. That sometimes does have a glitch on Windows. So pretty much right now, Epic Games Launcher is turned off. And we're pretty much going to be showing you how to uninstall. So what we're going to do next is you have different options to do this on Windows 11. It's actually very simple than you actually think. You can pretty much go to the search bar for the start and then you can select settings and then go to apps and features and stuff like that. Or simply if you just right click underneath the start menu on Windows 11, you pretty much just select app and features and it takes us straight directly to this. Now give it a little second for it to load up and instantly we already see Epic Games Launcher and services installed here on Windows. Now if it comes to a point that you don't want to do this route or something like the icons are not being shown here underneath apps and features, then there's another second option. You can pretty much go to search bar and you can still type in control panel on the search bar and you'll see control panel. And you'll see programs, or you can simply just select uninstall program. It'll pretty much take us to our locations. And here we are, we have the two different features called the Epic Games Launcher and Epic Online Services. You'll see those two. You'll pretty much select them and uninstall them too. Now, depending if you have other games that are installed inside there of Epic Games, you might need to uninstall them also before, um, but it all applies how it's going to prompt you and stuff like that. So here's Epic Games Launcher and Services. I'm pretty much going to see if I can just turn off the uninstall the services first, okay? And I'll pretty much prompt you. And here it is. Please wait while Windows configures it. And it's pretty much prompting us. Go ahead and press yes. And right now, pretty much is turning off all the Epic's online services. So pretty much that's being uninstalled. And it tells us if you want to continue uninstalling other applications and games maybe rely on online gaming services to function. Are you sure you want to uninstall? And yes, uninstall. We want that fully removed because we're pretty much going to be showing uninstalling. Um, the Epic Games, period. So that part is pretty much done. I'm going to be sure if anything comes up because I know lots of programs like to open up the web. So I guess this one didn't, so that's a good thing. So the second one we're going to choose is the Epic Games Launcher. We're going to go to the right side. Again, you have to, Windows 11 is a little buggy. Not buggy, but a little pain. But just scroll down. Here's Epics and select the three dots and select Uninstall. And you'll be prompted again. Go ahead and press Uninstall and let us do its work. You'll probably be prompted also and go ahead and press yes and let it do the process of it. And it seems it's already gone and might prompt us. I don't know what's going to come up and see. Anything's possible. And it looks like it's pretty much uninstalled. Depending on this, it might tell us to restart your computer. We'll find out in a bit. What does it tell us? But let's see. So it is finished. It did not prompt us anything. And it does look like the Epic Games are gone. I'm going to go to Start Menu. I don't see it in this current list. Go to All Apps. And I do not see Epic Games. So I think we are pretty much good here on Windows 11. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.